How's it going, guys? What's up, man? What'd you do today? Uh, I got top 16 at ARG San Jose. Awesome. Uh, I played Trickstar. Because I wanted to interact. <laughs> <laughs> so right. Candina. <laughs> um, so I played uh, three Candinas, three Licorice, and Garnet. Drew all the time. Uh, three Drolls and three Ash. I actually just didn't like Ogre. I felt like the, the um, Penelope deck was just so superior to your deck that even every single fucking time, it does not ever fail. I Ogre them and they still make a fat board. I was like, all right, well, I'm on all of these game one regardless, so I'd rather just play the better card because people are went back to playing Dolce Alliance for this event yeah. and they're playing Pendulum Call. So I felt like this was going to be very strong, so that's this why I maximized it out. And then also I right. felt like Salt Lake was going to carry over to this event and yeah. play um, a lot of True Draco. Definitely played five of them in a row. I'm glad I played it the way I did. <laughs> <laughs> I took them all out. There was only two in top 16. <laughs> um, spells, I played uh, three, six of the field spell. Nice. Uh, triple desires. Um, I know this seems oh, super excessive, but the problem that this deck has is it wants to get out of the early game state as fast as possible. So, because if you can't establish a, you can't establish more presence and tempo, you're just going to lose by turn three. So, um, three of your non-searchable win condition. But um, this deck does they have actual win conditions that are like solidified. So, you, the reason why I played uh, Duality, um, it actually just doesn't matter going first. Uh, you never shock on liquors. I don't know why people shock on liquors. The only time you ever do <laughs> yeah. it is if you have to force your scapegoat next turn. Yeah. So I definitely think it's an incorrect because if you're playing against Panel Magician, each scale you get 800 life points off of them. And also, this gives you a chance to draw your power cards. It gets you a chance to draw desires. So you can fix your hands. You can get a monster in your hand. You can search a win condition. Or you could be like me and just add draw when you add a reincarnation. So. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not good with piles, and I know we gotta rush this out. You're good, it's all good. Uh, I played two Cosmic. Um, I know a lot of people play the Heavy Storm Duster card. I know Daniel played it, but I'm a bitch, so I, I didn't play it. And I wanted to play something that was more reactive and um, proactive and reactive during every phase of the game that I'm playing. So that's why I went with Cosmic, because it hits Floodgates, it hits Scales, and plus, like, the Heavy Storm Duster, if they Pendulum Call, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. So that's why I thought Cosmic was the better card for this event. For sure. Um, so, three reincarnation, three strike, uh, three titties, because this card is amazing. <laughs> I, I've been saying it for the past two events, the younger generation does not know how to play around this card. <laughs> and you definitely just torrential them for seven or six every fucking game. You have to respect <laughs> yeah. it, bro. Yeah. And going back to the saying that Salt Lake was in carryover, um, I actually went with double evenly match. Because um, most of the time, like, if they make you go first, they're either playing True Draco or they're playing Mech Knight in both. Mm. So if you hard draw this game one and they made you go first, I would just blind pass because True Draco will either think they're playing the mirror because you passed, mm. or they're going to commit to the board and they're going to set all their cards so they can, like, demise and draw cards, and then they would just get punished for it. Damn. So. It definitely worked out. And then round three, I definitely evenly matched somebody for seven cards on stream. So that right, worked out. Three, guys, check it out. If you want to see that. Uh, That's when we got the twin powers out Yeah, twin power. <laughs> Every round he didn't come to me and say twin power, I lost. So that's the key to success. Uh, twin power. Extra deck, uh, Link Rebo, Proxy, Link Spider. Never made it, even though I scrambled to find this. Um, Decode, Firewall. He's dumb. I don't know why he didn't play. Yeah, I didn't play Firewall, <laughs> bro. That's the broken card with the fucking... One of the best things you can do is like when you're playing a Pendulum Edition, your comeback is always through a scapegoat. So you'll know Grease through them, you'll draw a card, clear their board, and then use your Lily Bell loop to go ahead and make a Firewall to end on top with a trap. So it just secures your win a lot better. Uh, Swimper Shotgun and against Purple Poison, a lot of people don't know this card exists. That was spicy. Yeah. And his second effect is super relevant. They let you re, uh, reborn uh, a link to or lower. So when you're playing against True Draco and you don't want them to use like a pop lips or anything like that, mm. you can negate the effect. It doesn't destroy it, so you're not going to destroy your monster. And if you want to reborn a proxy dragon to play through a masterpiece, you can. So you can leave a monster in a specific zone, bring back a proxy dragon, and then you can play through a masterpiece because if they try to pop something, you can just pop the monster that you made points through. That's so, nice. Yeah, so yeah. it actually comes up a lot. That's pretty cool, um, actually. Nagrisu. Um, Holly Angel. I actually did not make her once this whole tournament. My game. What? Was, yeah, my what game. Was, yeah. <laughs> I made this a lot in Salt Lake, but this event, I was literally. I didn't 2 0 anybody except one person, and all my games were super grindy. I think I almost went into time every match. So I never got to the point where I can, like, set up an established board like that because I was literally just fighting the whole game. Uh, I took a Dark Destroyer, I, joined, I hopped on the ship and started driving it. <laughs> Uh, I'll just shake the best card, especially after like game two and threes, because this is how you break boards. Um, it lets you kaiju the um, the vortex dragon. You can Lily Bell spin back the kaiju, hit the spell and trap negator, 
then you can play your power cards and reset the game state, and you need more cards to do that. All right. Um, Ib and Double Mrs. Radiant. And break sword. I didn't play grand pulls because I'm also an idiot. Yeah, that's and what you messed up. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> fucked up. I was like, oh yeah, that card is good, huh? Yeah. Um, I wish. The like, real reason why I didn't play is because you didn't have an OT one. True. True. I could have uh, given you an OT one. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't thinking. I definitely was scrambling for Ash for like the last like ten minutes of this round. Why did you tell me? Oh my god. Well, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Okay. We need to add uh, more of a yeah, right. later. Uh, what do you got in the side deck? I just. I wish I could have worked on this a little bit better, but it worked out, I guess. Um, two ogre. Um, you. Still have to play because like if you're going first against like two Draco, like I said, you have to put like more reactive cards because your, your your true Draco matchup is very interactive. Yeah. But like you also want to just have more game sealers. So I would side this going first and just side out an Ash because yeah. most of the time like you can deal with their diagram searches because you always just wait for them to. Uh, if you go summon a Wado, those are your best case scenarios, believe it or not, because that means that they have to force a tribute summon to the spell card, yeah. and you keep on just chaining this until and then you get knowledge of their hand. So. A lot of people just shotgun this every time they search. I definitely that's incorrect. But uh, two gamma seal, good card. Uh, two call down for the grape. Um, this card actually kind of um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Overperformed. Like it was really good. Um, shout out to Amir because I definitely said that car was trash in Salt Lake. <laughs> he was maining it. He was good, but uh, yeah, it was definitely good going first against like Pedal Magicians because you yeah. can hit like the Vortex Dragon. That's usually the normal um, problem card. But also, I used it on stream so that I couldn't get Ash the following shirt mm. by going into a scapegoat. So it was pretty good. Nice. Um, auto win. <laughs> you don't have to talk about this card. Three. Three. <laughs> Just go to the next game. I'm a bitch and just sided this card. Like I, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like I said, um, I, I wanted to play something that was more proactive and reactive, so I felt like I didn't want to play too many bricks going second. So that's like why I played like evenly matched and cosmic, so that gave me more chances to stay in the game. So, uh, two deflector. I never drew it. Don't know if it's good or not. Seems good in theory. Uh, two board wipes. Board wipes actually just suck. Like, I think Kaiju. Thank does. you. So, that's what I've been telling everybody. I was bro. Like, like, if I was going to play any other cards, it would have been Kaiju's, but I definitely didn't even play those either because I just went with my gut and played evenly matched. And evenly matched won me a lot of matches today because I yeah. definitely played five two Drakers. So, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All so, right. Uh, so, you have any shout outs? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, here we go. What, what are your matchups? My matchup. I didn't write them down because I fucked up. Uh, <laughs> memorable I, matchups. I played memorable matchups. Probably evenly matched for seven. <laughs> because we're the, 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 the round before that we were talking about like how's the evenly matched been? Oh, I haven't drawn it yet. Draw in stream. I was like, oh yeah, that card was good. <laughs> but it's a game, Check it out on stream if you want to see it. I think my best match was against my friend Alex. Uh, he's from Concord. We played this amazing match. I went to game three with True Draco. Shout out to him. Good player. It was an amazing match. Probably one of the best games of Yu-Gi-Oh I've played in a while. Okay. Um, I got like double Ironwald anti spell twice and still somehow won that game. It was crazy. <laughs> so. Um, First and foremost, shout out to my beautiful girlfriend Kaylee for always putting up with my, you know, last minute trips and me being gone all the time. Um, shout out to the team, Team Jobber, best team, you already know. Shout out to my boy Daniel. Shout out to Genesis. You guys are the homies. You guys are amazing. Thank you for the deck so far. Shout out to all the sack boys, the ones that helped me out, especially Amir. Thank you for helping me. Theory, same thing with Daniel. Everybody in the room, you all know who you are. I don't want any names because everyone I'm going to forget. Um, <coughs> shout out to Twin Power, my girlfriend's calling me. Um, <laughs> um, and obviously, shout out to my brother AJ for owning my life. I wouldn't be playing this game if it wasn't for him. Shout out to all the stocking boyos. Shout out to Wayne for letting me borrow a deck because I don't own cards. I haven't owned cards in years. Um, you all know who you are. Um, Shout out to my job, Wells Fargo. Shout out to Otto and Ernesto, uh, former Yu-Gi-Oh players. They told me to give them a shout out if I ever do good at events. My deck was called Wells Fargo Special. I did it just for them. Um, uh, and, uh, same case of, uh, that Daniel was talking about. Uh, my uncle actually passed away um, a couple of days ago. Uh, I wasn't even supposed to be here. Uh, my flight didn't fall through when I was going to go see him. He actually ended up passing away the day before I, before I was going to go. So like, I, and, I, and my flight didn't fall through either because there's no flight for me to buy anymore. And so I really needed to stay distracted. Shout out to Pacer. He stayed at my house for the past few days. You know, shout out to everybody who supported me throughout the whole event. It was really hard, but they helped me stay focused and, you know, just stay sane. I greatly appreciate everybody you don't even understand. Um, so I did this for my uncle. It was a good one. And I wish I could be with my family, but like I said, money happened and just unfortunate situations. But besides that, um, yeah, thanks to everybody. Thank you for the deck profile. Greatly appreciate it. And on to the next event. Hopefully yep. you'll see us together more. Yep.
We gotta, we gotta get this Wind split action, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Here's, let's All right. Go. All right, guys. Thank you. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more awesome deck profiles. Definitely.